Good morning and welcome to my August newsletter. The autumn in the Florence Nightingale Foundation is a very busy time for us. Um, and today I'm delighted to say we have opened up four applications on our website, the 2022-23 Leadership and Travel Scholarships. Um, these are available to all nurses and midwives working at Agenda for Change, Band 7 and above, and for nurses and midwives working outside the NHS but, pro pro but providing NHS commission services. So for those of you who are alumni, I'd be delighted if you could pass this information on to your colleagues so that we select the best nurses and midwives to be scholars of the foundation. As always, I want to announce the achievements of our alumni and two this month are Fiona Holly and Hannah Spencer, who have both received the coveted Silver Award from the Chief Nursing Officer for England, Ruth May. And these awards really recognise the uh, performances that have gone over and above the expe expectations of, of nurses. So well done to you both, Hannah and um, Fiona. We're so proud of you. In the um, Sun Who Cares Wins Awards, which will be announced in September, one of our alumni, in fact, Ross Anderson, was one of the first Windrush recipients on, of our leadership programme. And he's been selected and, um, in, and, and shortlisted for the best nurse category. So well done, um, Ross. We will be there and thinking about you and everything crossed for you. So last month, both Gemma Stacey and I were honoured to be invited to meet the new ambassador to the Philippines, Laura Bofitz, and also the uh, Filipino ambassador to the UK. The event was hosted by Pippa Nightingale and her team at Chelsea and Westminster NHS Trust and was chaired by Duncan Barton, who's the deputy CNO for England. Ruth May was also there and she presented two CNO awards to the most astounding nurses working, who've been working so hard with complete commitment to, during the pandemic in the most highly charged areas of critical care. It was really moving to hear their accomplishments and, and for them to receive their vote of, vote of thanks, um, hoping that at least one of them will be a scholar in the future. So we heard on that day two fantastic presentations from two of the FNF Small Grants awardees. And these small grants have been sponsored by Team CNO and they are supporting Filipino nursing associations. It really was a privilege to join the event and celebrate the outstanding contributions of um, the Filipino nurses. So also last month, our head of global programmes, Dorcas Guata, attended the Gambia Healthcare Matters UK workshop to speak about the international nursing and midwifery work that we're beginning to undertake at the Florence Nightingale Foundation. This work you'll hear more about as the year goes on, but we're really, really excited to be working with such great partners. And a very big thank you to Madeline Floyd, who donated the proceeds of her merchandise sold at, the, at two recent O2 music events. Um, and all of those people that brought her outstanding work. Madeline has been a, an absolute um, supporter of the Florence Nightingale Foundation at the start of the pandemic, and she was regularly giving us money from the proceeds of her purchase. And if you haven't bought a Christmas card or you haven't any Christmas cards left over from last year, gosh, I've just said the C word. Um, please save your pennies until you see uh, the card that Madeline will, will um, create for us. So periodically, we receive some additional funding, which we're able to award to nurses and midwives um, where the commissioner has asked us to provide particular leadership programmes. So um, Health Education England and, and Florence Nightingale Foundation have partnered to um, provide a selection of leadership programmes for nurses and midwives working across the NHS in the east of England region. And those uh, opportunities include an early career leadership program, uh, an aspiring director leadership program, and a particular program for nurses and midwives from ethnic minority backgrounds working at band five and six. So we hope you'll all apply. And uh, again, all those details are available on our website. So our membership, so the the, the FNF Academy membership uh, again has increased by another two members this month and we're delighted to welcome you on board. Another um, 
a benefit of, of being a member of the Florence Nightingale Foundation Academy is that we will endorse your leadership programmes where they are particularly applicable to our leadership principles. And we're thrilled to say that um, last month we supported and we've endorsed the University Hospitals Birmingham Highly Innovative Pathway to Excellence programme. Um, and this is the first one. This is the first endorsement that we have done for a leadership programme for our FNF Academy members. So if you have leadership programmes that you are developing in your organisation and, and you would like them branded with the Florence Nightingale Foundation logo and you're a member of the FNF Academy, then please send it our way. At the end of last month's newsletter, you will remember that I uh, made a plea for sponsorship for me running the London Marathon. So only four weeks left to go. Uh, on Monday, I ran my longest run for a long, long time, and that was 20 miles. So I, I'm pleased to say that um, I'm keeping up with my training. So far, so good, no injuries. And this weekend, I'm running um, in a local half marathon. So this is all part of my training. I, I know I can do it, and I'll, and I know that I will every single mile I will run for a nurse and midwife who's given so much of their time over the last 18 months. So please, if you have had the benefit of being a Florence Nightingale Foundation scholarship, then please, please, um, would you sponsor me? I'm Myself and, and our treasurer are aiming to raise £10,000 and this will be enough to sponsor a scholar for next year. So if you've received um, great impact from your scholarship and you are able to sponsor me then please either follow me on twitter for the link or go to our website where there's a link to um, uh, donate your sponsorship money through virgin money giving thank you so much and until next month bye bye